And that's where, well, how it got everywhere on every single computer that was sold. I am Vincent Conair. I am the designer of the font Comic Sans, and I'm going to tell you the story about the font. One day at my office in 1994, a program manager came back from a meeting. He had a CD, which was called Utopia, which is the code name for a program called Microsoft Bob. He asked me to have a look at the program and see how the typography was used within the program. I first loaded it and looked at it and saw a little dog called Rover and a speech balloon came up. And I thought, well, that's the only use of typography is going to be the text in the in the speech balloons of the dog. Now Rover spoke in Times New Roman, which is a text font. It's a font that is used for long letters and it was originally for the Times of London. It was designed for a newspaper. The team was headed by Melinda French. She was engaged to Bill Gates and she's now known as Melinda Gates. And so the program was finalizing its final release, they came back to us and said, could you acquire a font for this or what should it look like? And so I looked at some comic books. I had Watchmen, because Watchmen had the best lettering in it. It had the most examples of, of different styles and proper uses of lettering in a comic book. And I said, well, this is kind of what I'm thinking, but I can't copy the lettering because that would be illegal, really. And so that's what I used to base my basic style on. I had to draw it with a mouse on a computer that would be very difficult to control. And so I drew each letter over and over and over and over again before I could get a bunch that were the right size and weight and consistency that sort of looked like hand-lettered comic writing. They unfortunately said it, it would have to be exactly like Times New Roman in, in the size of each letter for it to work. So it didn't go into Microsoft Bob, but it was picked up by the next application, which was called 3D Movie Maker. And this was a very similar program, but you could make videos. Well, hello there. My name, if I may present myself, is McZ. Comic Sans got chosen to be included in Microsoft's first web browser. It was called Internet Explorer. It was added in what was called the Microsoft Plus Pack. That was an additional product you could buy when you bought Windows 95 or a computer with Windows 95 installed. Fonts came with the browser and the applications. For me, that was the first news that I heard it was going to be a popular font. The reason it got chosen is in the company, lots of the um, administrative assistants were using it for email and it was noticed by a lot of the project managers that this was happening and so that's why it was chosen and because of that it got added into the operating system finally and that's where well how it got everywhere on every single computer that was sold but if you got a new computer you had several hundred font files in your computer people were choosing comic sans because it wasn't Times New Roman. It wasn't Arial. So it stood out, it was different, and they were new users. No, I didn't expect it to get used everywhere, and I didn't expect it to be everywhere I go. But that's what happens when you design type. People use it how they will. I have only once did somebody come up to me and say, I don't like your font very much. And you're at a design conference, so you must be getting a lot of people complaining to you. I said, no, actually, most people don't complain about it. They actually shake my hand or say, can you sign this? I really like it. When you make something, it goes out in the world and, and you no longer own it. It's not your baby anymore.